we go. So this is now step 30. So in the previous video, so just to recap, we attached our data source file to our master document and we replaced the date with the specific format that they specified and we put our name, etc. on every page well, via the footer. And then we took a screenshot of the date format. Okay, so we are now going to go to step 30. So it says replace the text and chevrons in the master document with the merge fields from the data source file as follows. So the text and the chevrons, what they're talking about are these values here. So you have the text in the middle with the chevrons around them. We have to replace all of these with the merge field specified here. So first is first name, last would be last name, etc. So what we're going to do, we need to be under mailings to do this. You're going to highlight each one individually. So I'm going to start with first. Now just keep in mind, you can see here there is a space between first and last. So we're going to see once we inserted the merge field, if that space is still there. If not, we've got to put a space in. So I'm going to highlight first. You go to insert merge field. And first, as you saw, was first name. Now you see the space has been removed. So I'm just going to put a space to make sure that space is maintained. So now I'm going to do last. Last is last name. Add one is going to be street. So I'm going to highlight add one. Also, be aware of the, the layout here. It's underneath each other. So street. You can see add two has now come up to the same line. So I'm going to hit enter to make sure it stays where it originally was. So add two. Add two is area. So I'm going to make add to area. Post has come up. So I'm going to hit enter to maintain the original position. Post is postcode, so I'm going to highlight post, and postcode. The spacing has come up, the gap between the title and postcode has been, the space has been removed, so I'm just going to enter to keep it as it was originally. So it's just keeping, just looking at my eye very carefully, that everything looks as it originally did. CBL, in the heading here, C, sorry, CLB is club. I'm going to highlight this, insert club, space. Meet. So you're looking for every single one of these. Okay, so there's a full stop that should come after meet. And you can see it's highlighted at the moment, which means it's probably going to be removed once I put the meet field in. Sorry, the phone is ringing, so I'm just going to try and continue from where left. So basically here, meet. So when you highlight meet over here, you can see there is a full stop that follows it. So once you insert this merge field, we've got to make sure that there's a full stop that follows the basically what we insert over here. So meet is going to be date. Okay, so insert merge field, we're going to put date. You see the full stop's been removed, so just make sure the full stop is there, and there's a space after the full stop. And we just keep going. So first, first name, make sure there's a space, last, last name. Title, so the title would be a book title. So his book title. Auth is author. And we look, we're looking for these chevrons. So that looks all good. Here's the next one. So quest is going to be question. So insert merge field. Question. The question mark's been taken away, so we're going to make sure we put that back in. And I think I think that is every single field that we've needed to replace. So it says make sure the spacing, punctuation, alignment, enhancements in the original master document are maintained. We've kind of tried to do that. For example, when the spacings were changed or the layout looked a little bit different from the original, we try to make sure that it maintained the original look. If full stops were removed, we put the full stops back. When the question mark was removed, we put the question mark back. So we've tried to maintain the original look of the document. So save and print the master document. So in your exam, basically what you do, you just go file, print, and this is your master document that you would print. Uh, just make sure you have entered your names in the Canada number on your master document. So because we did it in the previous step, that information would be here. Just make sure your name is on every page because if you don't, you might not get any marks for your question the work that you did for this question. 
Okay, cool. So I hope that's okay. Let me know if you have any questions.